Hi everyone. So this is Francisco. Some poor lighting in here. <clears throat> Nevertheless, I was thinking about So I was thinking about, uh, oh, I hate when I do that, but I've been thinking a lot lately about the things that I've been talking about, and I was also thinking about the movies, and like a lot of people have been discussing for a long time how words really cause people to react a certain way and I did touch up on this with a different video. And believe me, this is all education stuff that I'm talking about. <clears throat> like Google. I need Google's help, honestly, to really filter and, and minimize even my own content and I give them you know obviously I, want, I know my rights at a certain degree you know but I give the United States of America like full consent to do with my information as they seem or as they, as they seem fit, you know, or whatever needs to be done. Then I think that's what they should do, you know. And obviously it's going to happen regardless. But I, I just want to be able to help and I want people to understand the bigger picture and although I don't understand everything I would like it if they changed and filtered out a lot of my content on purpose because you know there there's the video game San Andreas that's a good example of what I'm talking about um, rappers are another example movies is another example what people are exposed to, typically that's how they react or respond um, or like copy, right? So, for instance, this San Andreas game, I heard a story that a kid was going around actually shooting people because that child was exposed to that video game and I apparently that person thought that 
this person thought that it was okay because that's what was happening in the in the game and he had no logic he or she didn't have any logic about about that stuff no comprehension you know it just it was just a video game and you know so that that's one example and then there's another example with rappers and even the um, I think it was like NWA. Uh, I'm not sure if all of them are affiliated with the same record company or or if they got out. I don't even know any of the history, but I think it was like Dr. Dre and Eminem, where they I think they started one of their songs, one of their tracks, where it was like. Um, talking about the same stuff that I'm talking about, like people, like I don't know. It was a news reporter saying that they're saying I had sex with your wife, and, and, you know, and and it goes on to, and it's not even funny. I'm just saying that that's how the news reporter announced it. Like I had. Like she said, these guys are saying stuff like, I had sex with your wife and like killing people and stuff like that, you know, violent stuff. So th there was a huge, I, I guess, political, I don't really even know the definition of that, but it was all over the news. People were talking about, you know, stuff like that should be even allowed. And stuff like that. Um, oh yeah, and then... So that wasn't... That's another example. And then the other example is... Movies. Like for instance... Even television episodes or, or whatnot. There was... Wrestling. A lot of people thought they were really wrestling. And really doing... Like the stunts that these professionals were doing. And a lot of people got hurt and injured. In the result of them. Watching this stuff. Right. And other stuff like in the movies like. I just got done watching a movie. With my friend Ken and. I honestly don't even know. What the movie is called. Um, but it was something about Australia, Australians, and it was about, well, I'm not really going to get into what it was about, but it was something like back in the era or time when I believe Pearl Harbor, World War Two, and what else? Um, well, a lot of Black people at that time were not considered, I think, I don't really know all my history either, but they weren't really considered equal and, you know, to have equal rights. Even Mexicans or any other probably race, I'm not sure. But... I seen a a scene I seen a scene in the movie where this black gentleman walked into 
a pub, a bar, and the bartender said, we don't accept your kind here. Something like that, right? And all the other guys in, that were sitting around there were probably in agreement as well. But there is another guy there who stood up for him. And that scene, in the eyes of the public, viewing a movie like that, what kind of domino effect do you guys believe happened? People probably started speaking up for, you know, black people and equal rights and all that, right? Because they seen something positive in the movie. There is a positive scene as opposed to if, you know, the people were to fight the black guy and kick him out. Then that's how everyone would think and be programmed to think and function, you know? So people in real life at that time when they were in the theater watching that movie, you know, they seen that and that helped them or that didn't create a negative picture in their mind, you know, so... They didn't react that way in public, in real life, you know? Because after all, this is just a movie and people can act the way they want and stuff like that. But as long as people understand that, it should even be like, you know, it's a movie. We all understand it's a movie, but it should be classified as like comedy, um, you know, not real reenactments. And, you know, obviously portraying and broadcasting, like showing, revealing that it's also, it could also have some racial comedian type of jokes. It's kind of like... For instance, George Lopez, and he talks about black people, jokes around, and there might be some white people who talk about black people, you know, things like that, but we all understand that it's just comedian show. Right? We all understand that. And see, like, I'm not saying anything negative. You know, it, it's funny. You know, people people have a good laugh, whatever. On whatever side you're on. You know, and there is no real size. It's just, I'm talking about if you're black or white. Or another another race, and people are just bagging on one particular race or whatever. But that's when things get can get hectic or out of hand. When people try to take that comedian show out into the public and talk about it verbally. And that's how people get in trouble. People watch movies and they take that out in public thinking that's okay to do or whatever, but it's not. So, there was there's other things that we can say or even type, like on 
like in the internet and stuff. And it says a lot about a person. I'm I'm beginning to understand this. Even the things that we purchase in the stores, it reveals what we like, but also what we like as people, products that we like, it also reveals who you are sponsoring, who you are giving your money to. Whether you realize it or not. So people see that. I mean, and when when I say that, it's not like, it's not something where people are going to go out in public and talk about it. I'm talking about in the internet, you know, like CIA type of, type of stuff. Where it's just your personal profile. No one's going to talk about it. Everything is, you know, kept in privacy. Your 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 content, whatever you do is, is private. You know. Um also who you might be interested in reality or online. Can also play a big, a huge factor in the determination of you ever even encountering encountering that person or not, unless it's a pure type of desire to meet someone, and it's not something that's like a love, a love connection. If it's a a pure connection, just wanting to meet someone as a fan or whatever, then who knows? Someone can set that up, even pay for it, for you to have that opportunity. But that's some also some CIA type of stuff. But um, yeah, I have noticed that. And that's the reason why I discuss all this stuff about the World Wide Web, the Internet, the digital profile, where everything, because everything is already monitored and recorded 24-7, everything we buy, everywhere we go, the whole nine yards. And... We shouldn't be afraid of that. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's for our own safety. And the safety of others. And also we're learning about each other. We're learning what makes us angry as people, as humans. And what doesn't make us angry. So, if something, you know, gets us angry, then, you know, that's recorded online. And also... For investigators, it can get a little tricky when it comes to people that are unequally, unequally yoked, meaning they're in the same room. These people can get in arguments. They can get in 
into fights, into confrontations, conflict. It could create conflict. Why? Because someone laughs at a certain joke, but a group of people laugh while another group doesn't think it's funny. Someone says something. That was one example. Someone says something. And one group takes it the wrong way. While the other group doesn't. So they're. You know there's. Um, like. Debates and stuff like that going on. Um, also. If. There's any hidden conflicts prior to any type of investigation with certain people and certain people get connected in a in a room, then what will happen is the newcomers won't have any idea what's really going on. But, you know, eventually they're, they're going to figure it out, you know, because they're not stupid people. People are not stupid. And so, they people can try to hide everything. People can try to hide whatever they want to hide. But, at the end of the day, the truth is always revealed. So that's why it's better for all of us to just speak the truth, to say what's really what's really bothering us, and sharing that with people, what's really troubling us, whatever it is. Causing us to, you know, to feel pain or anger, especially if it's going to lead to <clears throat> violence. Or if someone, someone did something and you know, the intention is to get vengeance, then it needs to be considered, first of all, first and foremost, foremost, first and foremost, right? It needs to be considered, like, is it really worth it to hurt someone because of this or that reason, you know? Then if it is, then do what you have to do as a person. But if it isn't, then you have to think about it because it's creating other ramifications that you are probably not aware of. And so therefore, every altercation, dispute or whatever needs to be resolved ASAP, as soon as possible. Why? Because, not because I say, but I know, and not because the Bible says, but the Bible does say to not go to sleep in your anger. It says, don't let the, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. You see what I'm saying? So, You can be angry at something, at a particular situation, or whatever the case may be, but if you don't resolve it immediately, then it can cause other ramifications, other um, like unexpected results, like is a script, you know, Al Sif, Al Sif, Al Sif. If you don't, you know, it's like programming, like JavaScript and all that. It really is. So if you don't, 
Because there's those if statements. If you don't, it can cause other people to get angry and get involved. And then that creates even more complicated or more um, more of a, a, like a tree of events. Kind of like a family tree type of um, graph or diagram or or whatever you want to call it, right? But if it's resolved, and eventually the CIA figures it out, they fucking figure everything out. And eventually they look back like, fuck, if this person would have just done this, none of this would have ever happened. You know, it would have been bypassed, right? So that's um, criminal, I mean criminal, this is crime crime prevention. And I'm not doing it. I'm not the one who is thinking about all this. I'm not the one who thought about all this from the beginning. People detectives and all that they've been working on this for a long time so they understand how to slay these demons that we face as humans and and by all this being documented online and presented to individuals people users subjects then a lot of the hardship can be resolved and hopefully eliminated in future scenarios. And we can move forwards to the ultimate good, you know, doing bigger and greater things and growing out of these re- perpetual repetitive little issues but some people don't regard them as little so that's when they have to be what is the word um briefed they have to be briefed like like the internet will basically kick into gears and brief you through the stages. Like, look, man, it's like someone getting at you, you know, like, hey, let me get at you. This, 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 and this, these are the reasons why, and all this, and all this, and believe me, I've gone through this, and I've gone through that, and this is my testimony, and this is what I've been through, and this and that. And that's why testimonies, testimonials online are so vital, critical, Critically vital. They're one of the big reasons why the Bible says that someone that goes through a hardship or trial is great because they can act like counselors or comforters. They can, um, what's the word? They can relate. They they're able to. Um, they're able to, like, yeah, relate to a certain situation or trial that you have gone through, that someone has gone through. Whatever experience you've gone through, there's other people that have as well. This is not fucking the Stone Ages where we're, like, barely beginning to understand human behavior. You know what you know what the fuck I'm talking about? This is not fucking you know, a human goes out and tries this little fruit and they fucking pass out, or they try this fruit and they figure out that they're fucking allergic or whatever, and we don't have no fucking no medication, no antidote for that shit. We're past those fucking days. You see what I'm saying? So It's stuff like that 
And the Bible explains it in the New Testament how we fall into various trials. Just Google it. We fall into various trials. And then people are there to like relate with you. So that's the reason there's a lot of that stuff. And that's the reason why I'm talking about all this. Because we have the World Wide Web. And we don't have time to baby, you know, babies, we don't have time to babysit, you know, especially commanding officers and people at higher levels of faith, of level, different levels of growth. And then here are these other people just learning. And I'm not, that's why I encourage education. That's why. I value education and I will sponsor education as much as I can, you know, as a person, like I'm not against it. I believe people should go to school. I believe, you know, all that stuff about education and things are only going to get easier and easier and less complicated, especially with the stuff that Google is doing and who who knows how many other companies out there, private companies, private sectors, or even the military. I, I don't even fucking know, but whatever Google and them are doing is beautiful because they already copied every single book into the world or into the internet And you know everything that's there, it goes directly to the World Wide Web. So there's a you know a hard copy of that. That if someone fucks with it or not, it's it's it can it can get encrypted, but it's just a copy of the original. You know, it's not overriding shit you can override anything you want you could fuck with a picture you can fuck with a video you could fuck with someone's phone but all that shit is just wait it's radio radio fucking sound waves and shit all that is being recorded like god's not fucking stupid he's beyond us he's smarter than everyone in the world than technology and everything so I don't doubt that. I really don't. And we have you the Holy Spirit. We have the Holy Spirit convicting all of us of certain things. But not, it's not like, you know, do this or else you're going to fucking die. You know? But we know that there's instances 